too much and like your brain just like stops you from having it see I'm extra weird because I will happily have a donut but then if my oats go above the gram that I've told myself I'm gonna have I will spoon it back into the box it, it, is that weird <laughs> yeah that's it's pretty weird <laughs> So this is the first time that you guys have seen me make, oh my god, I got it exact. This is the first time that you guys have seen me make my oats here in the brand new apartment. I say brand new, I've been here a couple months now, you guys just haven't seen any of it. You know why? I got put in kind of a weird predicament where, I don't know, people started to make me feel weird about being happy about being here and made me feel like I couldn't talk about it which was just really fucking odd because it's quite cool and you would think that people in my life would be happy for me but it was actually the other way around like I got made to feel like I couldn't speak about it I got made to feel like I couldn't talk about it be happy about it say anything about it at all to be honest because it would be just taken in in the wrong way and that's I think a big reason as to why you haven't actually really seen much of this place because I've been in a weird headspace where I felt like I couldn't talk about it or shouldn't I should say but anyway oats I will come back to you later okay you guys know the drill you take it out you stir it you give it 30 seconds and you put it back in the microwave well, that's hot though that's a little bit better. A couple of times in and out of the microwave and we are good. A bit of protein and away we go. <clears throat> right, so I'm actually going to film a TikTok right now. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes of me doing so. It's a prime taste test. I've been saying that I'm going to show you guys a little bit more about what my actual life is like since being here. And this, to be honest, is it. I'll wake up, I'll sometimes go on the spin bike, I'll make my oats, I'll film some TikToks, I'll edit some client work, I'll edit my own work, and that is my day. It's very, very, at the minute, repetitive. I'm trying to find some sort of routine. I can't, I'm really struggling, but hey-ho. Let's give this TikTok a go. Today, we are taste testing Prime. This is the Tropical Punch flavor. I've actually had this in America before, but I've never had it in the UK, and I've heard that it's a slightly different formula, it's a different product, I don't know, I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody will. Tropical Punch Prime flavour. Cheers. I mean, it's nice. But realistically speaking, you're falling. Realistically, realistically speaking, <clears throat> I think the American one was nicer. I don't think the Tropical Punch was my favourite flavour anyway, but I would give that a 7. A very comfortable, quite nice, happily drink it all 7. And it can be as simple as that. Get comfortable talking to cameras by talking to cameras. That is my tip of the day. Time for oats! <laughs> My phone charge is broken. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm gonna have to run into town, uh, run to Argos. Uh, I need a few more bits from in town anyway. I've got an event on Sunday, so maybe look for a new t-shirt or something like that. When I buy t-shirts and stuff like that, I like to think, ah, oh, I've done this because I deserve it, but to be honest, right now I just want one. Bit of retail therapy, you know? So, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. We've got a clearway and a water for the road. 
Let's do this. in a hoodie and joggers. I don't know why I did that. Oh my word. Oh, flipping heck. So I've got a couple of tees. There was a big sale on a Zara, um, which is great because I love Zara, but hate full price. That's why you can use code LSJ at checkout on all things my protein because you don't like full price either. So I got uh, like 12 quid for these tees, which is great because to be honest, I could do with a couple of new t shirts. Um, and again, no one likes paying full price. I don't even know what it says on the front, but I just like the pattern on the back. I um, thought that was kind of cool. And the other one is fairly similar. Um, plain on the front. Again, kind of like a cream beigey type thing. It says, Behold the future. And again, across the back, Behold the future. Um, yeah, just a nice couple of tees that should do me for the summer, one for this weekend. Um, yeah, feel good. Nice, retail therapy. So, I left the lid off in, it's gone a bit hard. Oh, how sad. Hmm, it's only gone a couple of hours. Just so you all know, that's not like a, a regular occurrence for me, just having like massive donuts, like professionally made donuts. It's, it's not my normal life. The only reason that I have done that is because there was a bodybuilding show uh, in Birmingham that I filmed with Christian uh, three days ago, as of when you saw this video. Ironically, the place that you get the worst snacks, like the donuts and, and the, the brownies and just cookies and stuff like that, tends to be at fitness expos or bodybuilding shows, both hot spots for, for companies like that, you know? You got people finishing their diets, quite literally competing on the day, and they want a cheat meal afterwards. They want something readily available that's fresh, that's that's there. And they just don't want to say no to it, you know? And so at events like that, you wind up having donuts, and I just picked up a, a couple, you know? <laughs> Relax, it's fine, it's not a big deal, it's fine. Because I'm gonna be getting myself back into a routine. I'm gonna be getting myself back into I say back into a routine, I'm gonna find myself a routine. I don't have one, I haven't had one since being here. And I think that is a big reason, a big factor as to what's going on internally with me at the minute. I'm, I feel confused, I feel almost lost in this new life of mine. It's a bit odd um, and I think a big part of it is, is not having a routine, not having a structure, not having, I don't know, I don't really know, but one way or another, I'm gonna find that structure, find that routine, find something that works for me. Something aside from just getting up and going on the spin bike, you know, which is what I've kind of always been okay with doing, but clearly, being here, that's just not enough for me. I feel like that's not enough, um, what's the word? It's not enough drive for me, because being here is a very motivational thing for me. I wake up and I think, fuck yeah, let's get to work. But, waking up and just going on the spin bike and planning my day like I used to in the home gym, I feel like that's not enough for me now. Maybe, maybe, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of talking off the cuff here, but I'm gonna start setting alarms, which I, I do anyway, but normally I'm awake before my alarm, you know, because I don't wake up early. I wake up at like eight, half eight, that's not early, you know? People wake up at half four, that I know. Another thing I'm gonna do is actually structure in some time off. Um, things like part life, things like solid grooves, which I went to last weekend. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you'll have seen that. Yeah. Yeah. I've 
got a DMB event this weekend. That's going to be awesome. It's called Worried About Henry. Google it or just watch my stories or something. I don't know. Like, it's going to be really, really good. Things like that I need, right? Because moving here, moving to the city centre is very good for business. It's very good for social life as well, right? So I feel like somewhat over the past few weeks, couple of months maybe, I had this huge spike when it came to social life when I first moved and it's kind of gone back down again. And I really do feel like I almost did too much to start off with and now it's just not enough. I need somewhere in the middle. You know, before it was up here, now it's down here. I'd be good with it if it was in the middle. Um, and structuring things like these festivals, these events and all that kind of stuff, because I love that. Anyone that has known me, anyone that has followed me or, or watched my YouTube channel for a while knows that I love events. I love music in particular, but I also love just events where people go for good vibes and people just go to be together and enjoy themselves. I love that shit. Why do you think I love body power and stuff like that so much, you know? The Arnold's and Fit X and all that kind of thing now. It's because I love events. So I need to actually structure in some time where I'm going to do that. For my physical and mental health, all of these things will help. You know, getting back into the gym, setting alarms, getting up, doing some cardio, maybe going for a run every now and then. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? We'll see. The occasional less donut. Oh, I'm going to finish my prime. But I need that time, you know? And I feel like everybody does. It's perfectly normal to need that, to crave that, and I am craving it because I don't want to burn myself out and I feel like me kind of getting myself into a little bit of a mental kind of hole which is perfectly normal allow yourself that part of it is to do with just this imbalance in life whether it's up here or down there it needs to be constantly in the middle not up here or you know I need to find a good middle ground that works for me and I'm working on it one way or another Oops, enough burying my head in the sand. We've got to crack on. Life goes on, you know. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll update you all in the next video, or perhaps the one after that, as to what this new routine will be. But this is my realisation as I've gone throughout my day, throughout my shopping and work life. I've realised that I need that. Um, so I'm going to work on it and I'm going to do it. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Like the video if you have not already. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. I'm actually just going to choke this, you know. Let me know what you want to see me make next. And I'll see you all, beautiful people, in the next one.